Okay, a little bit on doodle tonguing. Now, I'm I'm far from being the, the expert on it. I mean, there's certainly a lot of players that, that do it a lot better than I do. And I am kind of a late bloomer with it, like I said before. Uh, so I didn't start getting to be able to actually use it or even do it until i uh, been doing it maybe about a little over 30 years now. So in other words, I, I had to get to be about 40 years old or a little older than that before that that became something that I could use. The Bill Watch's book that I got, the way he explained it, and it was some kind of a little drawing he had, just like where your tongue is at. And uh, that just somehow managed to, to trigger something. And I was able to start doing it. The, and, and you can build it up until, like, when you first start doing it, you, it's so soft. In other words, you, you, it's, it's almost like you're not even, you, you don't hear any, any separation. So why do it if you, if you can't really hear anything? But you, you, you know, you can work it up and get stronger. I mean, you know, I, I can use it playing lead. You know, that, that's the point I just wanted to make on that. And I recommend something to work on, uh, just like any other, you know, double or triple tonguing, the other ways of articulating. As the saying goes now, I recommend, that if possible, you could put that one in your toolbox. And I think, uh, there again, it depends what you've worked on. For me, doodle tonguing, either double or triple, is faster than, the, you know, the, the conventional double tonguing or triple tonguing, taka taka uh I, I, I is faster uh for me i sometimes have coordination problems between the tonguing and and you know the slide but of course that's just uh some more fine points uh to work on in your playing